So let's keep going with this text in Mark 9. It says, It is better for you to enter life crippled than having your two hands to go to hell into the unquenchable fire. Okay? And then there are later texts that say, that add this part, where the worm does not die and the fire is not quenched. End of... Okay. So now all of the texts have this part coming right now. If your foot causes you to stumble, cut it off. It is better for you to enter life lame than having two, your two feet to be cast into hell. That's Gehenna. And then uh, some later manuscripts add where the worm does not die and the fire is not quenched. And then all the manuscripts have, if your eye causes you to stumble, throw it out. It is better for you to enter the kingdom of God with one eye than having two eyes to cast into hell. And then this is in every manuscript. This last one is where the worm does not die and the fire is not quenched. This is a uh, this is a quote the the where the worm does not die and the fire is not quenched from Isaiah sixty six twenty four. Okay, what does it mean? What does it mean where the f- fire does is not quenched and the worm does not die? We need to know some t- some uh, Tanakh history for this. And basically, what happens is you have Israel enter the land and the Israel turns to uh, to idol worship. The worst kind of idol worship, in fact, they turn to Moloch. And what they do under the uh, rebellious kings is they actually start to do the worst form of idol worship. To Moloch, they start actually sacrificing their children. And they do this in the Valley of Gehenna. Okay? And I've actually been to that valley. It's it's beautiful now. But anyway, not the point. Josiah- that's, why the rich, that's why the rich man wants to go there. Because that's where Lazarus is hanging out with Abraham. Yeah, exactly. Uh, now, obviously, Yeshua is using metaphor here. Obviously. Uh, I don't think anyone's going to argue with that. But the point is, is that now we need to know the history of this place to understand why Yeshua is u- using it as a metaphor. Josiah comes around, King Josiah, and he says, nope, not on my watch. We're getting rid of this. So he doesn't want human child sacrifice to be done anymore. So he goes to this valley, and what does he do? He turns it into the public trash dump, the, the Israel dump. That's what he turns it into. And what they do is they start bringing all of their, their disgusting uh, trash. They bring in, and actually this is where the runoff for the temple blood went, some people believe, right? And so it smells like death. And guess what they do to get rid of the trash? They light it on fire. Now, here's where the metaphor comes in. Why, does the, why is the fire never quenched? Because the fuel never is eaten up. The fuel keeps coming. It, it never ends. And why does the worm not die? Because the trash continue, the, the, the source of, of what the worm eats does not die. It doesn't go away. As soon as someone eats some of it, Guess what? Well, worm eats some of it. More is there. It's never unquenched. It's never gone. It's the fuel that he's talking about. This is a metaphor for eternity. That's exactly what this is a metaphor uh, that is being spoken to. R.C. Sproul says this great. Is this a literal, literal lake of fire? Probably not. And some people think that it's a great thing. Oh, yeah, so happy it's not a literal lake of fire. If you go into, some people think that hell also is a place where uh, God, you're separated from God. That is not the case either. Hell is a place where God's wrath is fully poured out. And I can guarantee you this. Any person who spends one minute, one second in hell will pray and bag for a literal lake of fire. And the reason why is because it would be a blessing to be in a literal lake of burning fire for eternity, as opposed to being in a place where the ever living almighty, holy God pours out his wrath. I guarantee it. But the metaphor is to show that it is the worst thing that you can think about. Gehenna was a nasty, disgusting, horrible place. The fires never went out. The fuel never got burnt up all like fully. They never had to relight the fire on new on new um, material. And why was that? Because it was constant. This is the metaphor that's given. It's not a metaphor of, oh, yeah, it's just a bad place and a corpse is just going to burn forever in it. That's not what he's saying. Thank you so much for watching this video. Tell us your thoughts on this subject by leaving a comment in the comment section. 
Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and enable those notifications. And we'll see you in the next video.